Okay, good morning and Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. See the Sudha Truth Lies Within. And we are here today with our new blessing that is 28th of April's blessing. The Supreme Father wants us to feel the love and the closeness to our body, mind and intellect. And He wants us to be in love so that He can protect us. Now when we are in love with somebody, that person protects us or tries to protect us because they remember us. They know our weaknesses and where we can go wrong. So Godfather knows our weaknesses and that's why he says be in love with me so that I can protect you at all times. So let's see what does Supreme Godfather have to say over here in today's blessing and what is our learning in this blessing today. Father says may you experience closeness to the Father with your flight of love and pass with honors. So the closeness can be felt with the flight of love. Obviously, Supreme God Father doesn't stay on this very earth where we have come to play our parts or our role on this earth, but He stays up above, beyond the stars and the skies, and beyond there's a world which cannot be seen through the two eyes, but can be seen through the third eye of knowledge. That is the knowledge of the soul and the supreme abode of God Father. So He stays in that world, so He wants us to take a flight with love. We tend to reach a person in our life when we are in love with that person. Same goes over here. When we souls are in love with the Supreme Soul, we can easily go in flight and meet Him in the Supreme Abode where He cleanses us of our sins and makes us pure enough to come back to Him. So it is love which will pull us to Him in the end of the days. So God says over here, May you experience closeness to the Father with your flight of love and pass with honors. All of your children are continuing to move forward with your power of love. If there is love, then we follow Father or we follow anybody else. If there is no love, then we don't tend to follow that being or that person. Your flight of love brings you closer to the Father with your body, mind and heart. So God is saying physically also you'll feel closer to me because you'll feel my presence around in your body. You feel my presence in your mind and you feel my presence in your heart. All of you are number wise. Obviously, in a class also there are students. Somebody comes first, somebody is in the middle and somebody at the back. So everybody is number wise. In what? According to your capacity of knowledge. So this Vardhan also or this beautiful blessing or the whole complete knowledge of seven days of Brahma Kumaris is understood by some souls completely. Some souls don't understand certain things because they have their own capacity. So they are number wise as per God. According to the capacity for knowledge for yoga. Now here yoga means how much do we remember God throughout the day. It's a yoga between the soul and the supreme soul. And dharna. Dharna means how much have we changed our character by listening to this knowledge, by being soul conscious instead of being body conscious, how much have we changed from within as a person? But each of each one of you is number one in your love. So we may be different in taking knowledge, imbibing knowledge, and having remembrance of God. But God says, but you are all number one in love for God. All of you have passed in the subject of love. Such a beautiful thing God is saying because as we recognize ourselves as a soul and we recognize God is also a soul, a tiny point of light, He doesn't have a physical body of His own and we remember where He stays, automatically our connection is connected with Him and uh, we feel the love with Him. Then God says, love means to stay close. Close in Hindi means pass and to pass an exam also means pass. To pass and easily pass all situations. So any situation which comes in our life and we remember God, we remember His teachings, that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. We get to know His teachings of how to stabilize the mind, what to think, what not to think, what is pure, what is impure, what is the right, correct way of looking at this world drama, how things in this world drama are going on, how every soul has got his own destiny, has got his own thinking and we cannot change them, we can change ourselves. So God says, when you get a lot of this knowledge, you automatically pass in the subject of not getting angry or frustrated or judgmental about others and you don't make your mind unstable. So you pass. So God says, you pass all situations because you remember me and you are closer to me and so you remember the knowledge and you apply the knowledge at the right time. 
those who stay close in this way pass with honors passing with honors is not just about any other university here passing with honors is about godly spiritual university that's what brahma kumaris is it's a godly spiritual university where we learn to pass in our character because character is what is going to go along with us this body is going to be left over here and all body related attainments and all things will be left over here so what do we need to change we need to change our character and become a pure and powerful soul and that's what we learn in this university for free you too can come and learn this knowledge because this knowledge will make your mind peaceful and powerful and with this i hope you are enjoying this beautiful view if you are watching this on youtube of shobri nightingale park this is in darjeeling very close to my homestay and it's a beautiful place and someday soon when the clouds are not there and we can see the kanchanjunga the complete range we'll shift our camera in that direction till then enjoy the park with the som shanti